Hello everyone, welcome back to Little Guy Creates. Today we are creating a spelling bee app for practice. So to start off, what we're going to do is we are going to... What I've done here is I've made it so that you can insert the word yourself. Then you will need to type... Well, I'm still deciding, it'll say the word. I'm still deciding whether you should type the word or just say the word. I say for this one, we just type the word. So for that, let us get started. So here we are in our MIT App Inventor, let's go. And we are going to actually remove this text box because it's absolutely useless. So, then, after this, all we need to do, I don't think we're going to need the text-to-speech, no, we're not going to need the speech recognizer. Because, what I'm thinking is, we add another button saying, um... Press to check and sir. And then we should add a text box here saying um type the answer here. Pretty good so far. Now you just need to get to the coding of it. So what we need to do now is go into our blocks and say when button four is clicked, we need to, oh, first when we say get our thing, we should say current word is Set. Let's make a initialize something new. Initialize current current word to this, and then. We need to always set current word to this so that we can use current word in a different place. Global current word. Get current. Now we need to get current word and get that. Okay, perfect. So when button four is clicked, we need to check whether. Oh, what is it saying? We can't pick a random thing. We'll just say zero because it'll change, right? Okay, so trash it. That still leaves us with one. Oh. Okay, so now we need to say when button four is clicked. Check. We need to make sure everything is down cased. And what will their text be? So what we're going to do is we're going to get our current word and check if it is equal to our what our input is. Where's our text? Is it equal to that? Well, the down, we need to make sure that they're both down cased. Um, is this down case? 
equal to this down case. So what we're gonna do is in, we're gonna go to logic if when if okay now we need to go to logic equal to equal to then we can say let's do our call our text to speech either way we're going to call text to speech and speak something let's make it do or yay you spell the word correctly and if it doesn't spell if the person doesn't spell it correctly then say so sorry but you are out please try again later after some practice this shall be really insulting and we should make a score that would be fun okay so what we i think we should do is we should set our score rounds. We'll set it to at the start zero. Then we will if we do this, we'll do global rounds to Get global round plus one. Isn't that a pretty good idea? I think so. Oh my god. And then we'll move this here. And now I shall try it on my phone and see. Does it work? Okay, I'm getting into the companion app. I've scanned the QR code and it is going to be connecting. Let's see if I spelled things correctly. So I'm gonna add a word saying happy into my list then i'll be adding let's say a thing saying july and maybe um rectangle i don't know okay now i'm going to press the button that says press for the next word happy it's asking me to spell happy, so in the text box, I'll write happy, and then yay, you spelled the word correctly. And now let's get another July. one. It's asking me to spell July. I'm going to spell it as um, J-U-D-I, or like I'll spell just and press check the Sorry, answer. Sorry, but you are out. Please try again later after some practice. And there you go. That is the spelling bee app.